And welcome to Sam Livecast, ladies and gentlemen. It's Friday. Uh, what I'm calling Simple Meals Week. You! Uh, is that right? What we're doing? <laughs> I think that's what we're doing. Yes. All right, so uh, in the interest of time today, we have these cameras now. We're shooting differently. There's a limit. I know, just not even to worry about, but Everybody I want to. Everybody wave the cam one. I want to get this. Why are we even talking about this, man? Just, just do it. Just do it. Here's what we're doing. Is that pan hot? I think it is. Uh, it will be. I mean, it's starting to get hot. So, celery, onion, red pepper. That's it. Crank some heat here. Give it a little olive oil. I haven't said what we're making. You have Oops. not. Uh, we're making uh, a little sausage jambalaya with a little treat at the end of it. Ooh, nice. A little andouille sausage, which is this that I'm going to need to cut. Andouille sausage, super delicious. I absolutely love it. Italian sausage? No, it's like a... Uh, Nolens. Yeah, so I was going to say like a chorizo-ish kind of sausage. Mm. It's got just fully cut, great flavor. Lots of spices, but but not too spicy, which is the important part. So we're going to... Here, try that piece. Mm. Yes, so please. these guys... Oh yeah, I remember that sausage. Right? Grew up with that. Here's a piece for Lynn. Thank you, sir. It's nice being out here, huh, Lynn? Oh yeah, the oh, yeah Lynn gets food now. The perks are great. Oh, that's great. It's a lot more garlic than I remember in Andouille. It's a lot more what? It's a lot garlickier than yeah. I remember. It's I really it's... good, though. Mm -hmm. What brand is that? I can't remember. I'll look after. So these guys just get cut out. A little spicy aftertaste. Just a tiny bit. Does that look like enough? Um, enough veggies? No, I meant sausage. So I want these guys to soften, kind of like a decent amount, right? Heats up all the way. Let me think what else we have to get. Uh, I guess I suppose I can measure out what I need. This can fit. I might as well just throw this last one in there, right? Yeah. What am I saving them for? For me. For Lynn. Uh, then we'll measure this guy out. Well, I mean, we'll, then we'll measure out the things that we need, the other things that we need for this. Okay. Um, excuse me, bro. Excuse me, Lucky. I need a cup of rice. Oh. I need some garlic. Look how pretty these colors are, I too, know. huh? I was just thinking about that. Might as well make your food look nice to look at. Might as well make your food look ni nice to look at, I mean. Let's see, I need some garlic. Do other people coordinate the purchasing of their veggies for what it's gonna look like? Do they or should they? Do they? I'm wondering if other people, because I should. Do. I, I don't know. If I have one green veggie. Yeah, you're happy? No, well, if I have one green and a red, the next one I get is not gonna be green or red. It'll most likely be yellow or orange or something Oh, different I see, I to see. To round it out. I get you. Okay, a uh, little piece of garlic. Lynn can't see anything now. Thanks, sir. Welcome. Paper off. Oh, this is rough. Sometimes uh, it just doesn't want to come off. And you get these after pieces. Ah! Ah! Look it, it's all over. And garlic's really sticky. Yeah, it is. So this is one decent sized clove. All right. This I is love, good. I love Haley just sniffing the outside. Let's see how we're doing here. Okay, these guys are nice. So now. To this, here's what I'm going to add. I'm going to add the sausage and the garlic. Okay. 
So you won't come over or you will come over? I'll come over. Okay. So, okay. Nice. Now this, and now all the garlic will go in. And I say all the garlic, I mean, it's not that it's really all that much. A couple more pieces here. A little bit more olive oil in the middle. All right, so, uh-oh. Is that sausage? No. So we want a little bit of color on the sausage. We want some of the fat of the sausage to come out, start to flavor everything that's going on in here. This is going to be really good. And this is one pot. No need to do anything any other way than this. No pre-cooking, no nothing, right? Okay, while that's doing its thing, let me get a cup of rice. Oh, that's what it was. What was that? Celery, right? Oh, it's like a really melty piece of celery. <laughs> okay, so a cup of rice. I'm gonna use a wet measure, sorry. I know I'm not supposed to. We talked about this. There are wet measures and there are dry measures. And technically this is a wet measure. So there's a cup of rice, it's going in. Here we go. And Old Bay, because that's classic. And we'll give it like about a, I can't get this stupid thing. Oh, there we go. So I'm going to give it about a half a table. Ooh, so that's maybe more than I need. I love Old Bay, so I don't mind. So now this is just get all sort of toasty together, right? The flavor of the Old Bay and the vegetables and the sausage start to influence the rice in a really damn beautiful sort of way. You give this just a couple minutes. How, how much time have we spent so far, Lynn? We have four minutes left. Okay, so that's good. So this has taken us not even 10 minutes to get this far. Yes, okay, so I had the, uh, I had the vegetables cut up. So how long will that take you? Two minutes, three minutes, right? Yep. So I need a couple of cups of uh, liquid, and we're going to go with... Oh, I thought this one was open. Of course, everything's a challenge for me today. Two cups of uh, broth. Chicken broth, you don't have to use that. You use vegetable if you want. I wouldn't use beef. We should, beef measure, be. we should measure dry things in the wet jar and wet things in the dry jar. Well, I know, we could do that. I don't think it really So come matters. look at this. Here's what we've got, right? So we've got sausage now with some beautiful color on it, right? Oh, yeah. You can see the rice has taken on the color of everything that's going in here, including the Old Bay. And now the broth will come in. Wow. Let it do its thing for a minute. Would the rice have just stayed crunchy if we weren't adding this broth? Yeah, the rice would have been horrible. So you need liquid. You have to have it, absolutely. You have to rehydrate so it. You, just put you it have in to there. hydrate. So you put it in there before so it can kind of soak up the spices and work with everything else? Yeah, the rice gets a lot more flavorful if you do that, if you give it a little benefit of time in the pan. Cool. Okay. Now see what's going to happen. It's going to start to come to a boil as it's starting to do already. She's guys down and around a bit. And then the lid goes like this. Turn it down to a low simmer. Low simmer, low simmer. We don't want this thing. Uh, the rice will, uh, the liquid will absorb way too fast if it's on high heat. And that means that it will look cooked but it won't be cooked because the rice will be way beyond al dente. It'll just be way too crunchy and that's not the way it's supposed to be. This is going to take 
depending on where I leave the temperature, maybe 15, uh, 20-ish minutes. And then it comes out and then we only have one thing left to do. We're going to add the secret surprise to this and then we're going to serve it. It's going to be delicious. Don't go away, we're coming right back. And we're there, so let's have a look, shall we? Yes, sir. So this, after about uh, between 15 and 20 minutes, <whistles> boom, is what that looks like. Look how beautiful Damn. that is, right? I mean, look at all the steam. Oh, that's a really cool shot with linen in the background. All right, but like, I said we had... Ah, uh, yeah, Lynn. <laughs> there we go. Okay, but back up for a second. I said there's two things we need to add. One is parsley. I feel like there's not enough light on this. i got to come over here. Oh, now look at it. Look like it was in a dark little hole over here. Okay. DSLRs are really good low light cameras. The first one is crab. Oh. What? We're making this crab and sausage. Are you kidding me? Why would I kid? I like it, like. You're not yeah. in a kidding mood today. Hold on, let me just hold back a we couple We just made pieces. a jambalaya right in the pot. That's awesome. Right. It's you don't the, even need a rice cooker. No. Well, this is sort of the more traditional way to do it. I mean, I don't know how long it takes other people. Just let me just hang on to that for a oh, second. Oh, so is the is the jambalaya in a rice cooker sort of your creation? Yes, that was my early version. Oh. Okay, so the only other thing is some parsley. I'm going to add some parsley here. And you just mix. And the crab warms from the heat of this. Of course the crab doesn't need anything to cook it because it's already cooked. Now look at, now you've got crab on Dewey sausage. Now you're talking. Okay, let's have some of this, shall we? Wow, it looks so good. <laughs> And how will it look in this bowl, though? This is festive. Oh, I'm getting the steam on my... It's very festive. It's a nice looking bowl there. Thanks, man. I don't think I've ever seen that. It's a, uh, I think it's a Bed Bath & Beyond bowl. Let's have a bite here, shall we, Maxie? Yes, sir. Look, nice pieces of crab in here. You don't have to put the crab in, but I think it's a really nice touch. Crab and sausage go together beautifully. So you want some rice, you want some crab, and of course you want a piece of the undoing sausage. Is it gonna, is it gonna, oh my, you get, oh my God, the smell of the crab in this. I'll tell you what this reminds me of and why we're having this. Mm. We talked about this before in the live cast. There's that restaurant, in, uh, a casino in Vegas, the Palace Station, which is where OJ got arrested. Not like a, I know, you're laughing. I think that's off strip. <laughs> cool. Way cool off trivia. strip. Not like a highbrow casino. But in it, they have a restaurant called the Oyster Bar, and it's literally a bar with like 20 seats. Every time you go, you have to wait. Our group has waited anywhere from an hour to two hours. And you sit at the counter and they make all this kind of food right there. And this crab andouille sausage is something I've been thinking about for a while. And they make there and they make it really, really good. If you're ever in Vegas, go to the Palace Station. Don't be too skeeved out. Stand in line for the Oyster Bar because there will be a line. And have everything on the menu because it's unbelievable. Oh my God, so happy. And when you buy crab, if you're buying crab in the supermarket, those little tubs, there's a little moisture always in the bottom of it. Keep the moisture. That's gonna help flavor this whole thing really beautifully. Oh crap, this is a big day. I could just stand here and just eat this whole thing. But we're gonna end. And we're gonna come back next week. And next week we're calling Back to basics. Mm. What could that be? I like Learning that some simple little things. Thank you, Lynn. Learning some simple little things that we think everybody should know. See ya.